Mr. Honorable Andrew Wellness, me say me have to address you properly, you know, because you are the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Mr. Honorable Andrew Wellness, me want to ask you this right now. The hundred and odd million in total, we want to intend to use and fight cartel in a court, to sell him a prison. Right? If we don't have a retrial hearing. Let me ask you this now, Vice, Mr. Prime Minister. Vice Cartel worth more than the people them will get affected by hurricane burial now. Are all the people them we are suffering in Jamaica right now with a hundred and odd million dollar day? Could that stop a big gap in them life, Mr. Prime Minister? That no one know. And Mr. Prime Minister, for all of the people them we are dead in the country, you really and truly believe, say. Your prosecution team who has spent so much money on Vice Cartel care that much about one man with we probably we presume saying dead or is missing or whatever Clive Lizard Williams you think it worth to spend hundred and million for one man? Eh? The next thing again, Mr. Prime Minister, Hurricane Burial passed through the people them need help. Me want to talk to your NP them. And you talk to your councillor them because we already know said this is the time of the, the year or in our country when them thief money the most. The money where them get to help the people them, them put in their pocket. So Mr. Prime Minister, a whole lot of things you need to look upon. And tell your MP and your councillor them to say the hurricane passed through and affect the people them. It didn't just affect PNP. It didn't just affect JLP, it affect Jamaican citizens. So tell your MP and your councillor them, say when them go to go help the people them, don't go say because them a PNP, you not nah help them. You only help JLP people. You help Jamaican. So Mr. Prime Minister, listen when me and ask you, the money where you do not take, but you don't want to send cartel of prisoners and waste all them millions there, take you and help the people them in the country. And tell your MP and your councillors them, say, a Jamaican people affected by the hurricane. Not labor right. Make them know say PNP affected, labor right affected. The any other little party where they affected as well. So make sure say them help Jamaican people and don't make it political. Boy J Progress, I wish him could have listened to you. I wish him could have listened to you, you know. But this man cares zero about the people of Jamaica. This man, him cares zero. About poor people. Him no care how them want to suffer. If them want to sleep in a house. If them want to eat. If them want to drink. If them pick them want to go to school. Him no care zero about the people of Jamaica. So, I'm glad you can tell him the truth. But will he listen? Him no go listen. Look at it. If this man can take 300% pay increase for himself. And give teachers 20%. Pay increase and then stretch out him left hand and take it back by taking away other benefits from them. And a wickedness that. You give them twenty percent pay increase with your right hand and use a left hand and take it away back by taking away other benefits. So what sense it did make? You give them the twenty percent pay increase. Now this man have paid over a hundred million of dollars for fight vibes cartel case for cinema prison. Yes, him do succeed by sending Vibes Cartel to prison. Vibes Cartel are prison 13 years now. Vibes Cartel go to the appeal, the court of appeal, the privy council, him winning case. Him come back to Jamaica, them say, either retrial or let him go. The government are pushing for a retrial, which is which it is going to cost taxpayers another hundred and other million dollar for resentence Vibes Cartel or retry Vibes Cartel. Now, all of them money day, over 200 billion to 300 million dollar, could have helped a lot of people, you know. It could have helped a lot of people out here in Jamaica. Worse in times like these when, you know, the hurricane just blow down a whole heap of people house. Enough people left homeless right now. The government should have looking to do those things. Enough people there, we can't send back them picnic at school. September morning, him should have look for help those people. How much house the government built back since they blow down in the hurricane? Over 300 to 400 house blow down. So those people are homeless. What if a house damage? 
but the government only care about himself. But bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them, me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful day. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember in everything you do, always put God first. In every uh, any situation, just always remember for call upon God. Always remember for pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, we have a lot coming up inside this update including update on the case of philip powell daughter and his baby mother so you definitely don't want to miss none of this so watch the video until the end leave a like subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet all right soon come so welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continue while you support the channel and I help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are new viewers, first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, I share a video this morning where they were questioning some people about the teachers. And I give my takes on that video where I said, the, the teachers them are doing a lot in school. The teachers them are doing their best. Time is not, not like before where when children go to school, they would listen to teacher. These children, they don't listen anymore. And one of the main reasons why these children don't listen anymore is because of the parent. The parent are the one who broke them pitney bad and want to send them to school for teacher um, broke them the right way. But yet still, if the teacher talk to them pick me too hard, then you hear so them go down at the school and they want to mash up the teacher. They want to war the teacher. They want to fight the teacher and them disrespect the teacher in the worst way. When them broke them pitney bad the yard, them pick the go to school and want to disrespect the teacher. And the teacher now talk back to them or slap them. The parent go down there, want to fight the teacher, want to beat the teacher, want to pull off the teacher here, want to pull, want tear off the teacher clothes and all of that. So you give the children them even more strength. Another thing is that the, 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 the prime minister himself don't want, don't want the teacher them to punish any children at school. So what you think are going to happen? These, th these children are going to be out of hand. Them now go and learn. Them say fully dunce. The children them say fully dunce. The teacher cannot open these children head. And nearly in the education in it. And them have to take them own education. And them have to pay attention in a class and learn. How teacher have to nail education in a picnic head. It is so easy to blame these teachers. Saying that they are not doing their work in school. When these teachers have to get up, how much o'clock in the morning, figure out school, sit down on them backside all day, for teach these kids. When the prime minister, they underpay them and rob them. When you have a government, an education minister, when you respect them, they show these people no respect. And these people are so important in our life. Because without them, we don't have no education. So teachers are very important. So the, the government need to, need to treat the, 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 the teachers them better than how them are teach, treat them. Them treat the teacher them like them think the teacher them are garbage. Them treat the teacher them like them can go in a classroom, go teach themselves. And I know say, they won't survive not even one day in one of those classrooms. The parent them need to treat the teacher them better. Because the least you could think them bad getting pitney. Go home, go tell them. Them run gone to school. Want fight off a teacher. Want beat off a teacher. And sometimes, these teachers already stressed out by bills. By their own family matters. And they know, you as a parent, we should have set a better example. You gone to school. Want fight the teacher. And then, no one sit down on the roadside and criticize the teacher. And I watch a little bit of money what teacher they make. Every day I want to get up, teacher they make big money, teacher they make this, teacher they make that. Teacher now make no big money because teacher should only pay better than what they pay. 
Teacher should only pay better than how they might pay. Teacher sit down in a classroom for years, up on top of years, and teach decades. Them teach for decades, you know. Sit down and hurt them back for decades. When everybody is a free time, they must write them, 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 them lesson plan. When everybody else have free time over the weekend, them not have none. They must have a right lesson plan. If you go back to school Monday morning, go teach people pick me. When holiday come, they can't travel again. The government take with that from them. During the holiday period, what they must do? They must have a workshop. They must have do all kinds of things. They not have no free time for themselves. Government take away the free time from these teachers. And that is wickedness. And that is because the teacher them would go overseas and them do one like a part-time job. Make one little bit of money and come back a yard. The government not like that. This government take away that privilege from the teacher them where they get them holiday. And send them a workshop. So just to show you how them target the teacher them. Very bad. But when you come on to pay the teacher them proper money, they are not into that. They don't want to pay teacher no money. So the people them need to leave the teacher them alone. Make the teacher them survive, man. You don't take no bad mouth off of the teacher them because they are doing a lot. And when people go to school and learn, it's because they don't want to learn. When you don't go to school and them no learn, it's because they don't want to learn. If the whole classroom in the left school does, then you could answer, yes, teacher not teach nothing. But I just want a few the left school. And them not, them not get no education. And not everybody. So why blame the teacher? Why not blame this dirty politician? We not do the work for the people. The politician, they will get overpaid. And they're not doing nothing at all. For the people of Jamaica. Why don't, why don't you blame those people? Look how much the government raised them pay to. 300% pay increase. But yet still. You have a lot of bad roads here in Jamaica. You have a people that are homeless here in Jamaica. The government and the politicians, them, they are not doing their job. But you are not quick to judge them. But you are quick to judge these teachers that teach the politician, teach the policeman, teach the nurse, teach everybody. And them put education in our head. So stop pressuring them. Pressure the politician them and pressure some of them parents yeah. Where they don't know nothing about parenting. Because when them picnic come home my evening time, when if you make them picnic go to homework, go to research, you understand me? I say, say, go study. Them they are gambling shop or then they are party and then picnic their yard. Sometimes they picnic and look man and them don't have a business. So stop pressuring the teachers them, man. Full time now we show the teachers them respect. Full times now we show teachers respect because they deserve more respect. Than what we are give them. Alright. So make we move on to one other time. So like how we depend the whole school thing. Why is it that the Jamaican Labour Party doesn't like people who grow them here? Or should I say doesn't like Rastafari? Why is it that every time when the Jamaican Labour Party come in power. They always fight against Rastafari. Over the years picnic could go to school with them locks. But from these people win. Them want... Rastafari pick me for trim, them no if you have no lax pan him head, and all of them something. Day. That's their culture. Why fight against them and them culture? Rasta they tell you nothing about head. Why the Jamaican Labour Party government always fight against Rastafari? That no look good. Now check out this video, my people. Check out this video right now. I believe that everyone should have a right to an education. Whatever their religion, whatever their faith, whatever their nationality, they should have the right to uh, education. If not, somebody's at fault. Yeah, in my opinion, well, if me did have locks, I feel so because I don't really want to cut my locks because I love it. Part of my life, you know, the body of a life to live. Huh? Yeah, and really, things for them should have just allow it. No, I really, I really do not think there should be an issue with a child 
wearing locks to school because it, when you really check it out, it's not really the locks is learning, it's the brain. So I think all you need to do, catch up the hair properly and attire their, their uniform properly and just get some education in their head. That's it. Yeah, it's good. It's good because suppose you're the Rasta and it's your religion. Let's supposed to force you to trim your hair. But your hair is going to do with you learning in school. Locks, I, I don't have a problem with it being worn in the schools now. What is key and important is the, the, the student's attitude and their, 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 their reason for being at school. It has nothing to do as, as well, I'm taking it from a biblical perspective. Come as you are, as long as you come and you're, you're there with a the mindset for, for school, that is what is most important. Nothing is wrong with wearing the locks. That is perfect. A child has to go to school, whether he's dreadlocks or balling. I think the hair had nothing to do with the education. Absolutely nothing. So whether it's a real Rasta or not, go ahead, go to school and do good. That's no, I don't really know what's wrong with this government, you know. But something is definitely wrong with this government. Why them have a problem with each and everything. But what them feel have a problem with, these MPs and councillors, we are robbed the poor people. Them, them not have no problem with that. Them not have no problem with that. Looking at the healthcare sector, 700 billion missing. 700 billion missing. 1.7 trillion missing. But they are not paying attention to that. They are more paying attention to pick me, not to come to school with no locks on them head. Why is that? That's why I always say any Rasta man will support the Jamaican Labour Party. is not a Rasta. It's a bubble jed. Because this party do not like nothing that name Rasta. Them fight against Rasta the most. Why would you bar a child from, from school? Because the child is a Rasta. That is stupid. That is stupid. I want to have Rasta in a parliament. Leave the children, they make them go get their medication. It doesn't matter if them locks or them no locks. Everybody are the same. We are all human beings. Stop fighting against Rastafari. A full time no want to stop. Full time now, over the years, when I hold Rasta and a trim Rasta and all of them something, they, I, I, I just a few years ago, police um, hold a Rasta girl and trim her. And you know, look good people. So they need to stop. The Court of Appeal has um, ruled that the ban on dreadlocks in schools breaches the constitutional rights. And if you all remember, a few years ago, a child was made to leave school because she sported dreadlocks. Kensington Primary School. That's the school up there, if you can see it. Right? So the parents actually sued the ministry, the school, everything. And this will make the eighth case because Marilyn Malahu Fort, as the, um, at the time she was the attorney general, tried to defend this. This will make the eighth case that the government of Jamaica has lost in the constitutional court in the last eight years, eight, nine years. Yeah, the eighth case. Imagine you have a government that is just losing cases left, right and center in the constitutional court. This is the fourth case they've lost since year. Have you ever heard anything like this? This is the fourth case they... Imagine, left, right, and center, them just a lose case, so. It just don't make no sense. And these are the people who are messing with our constitution, you know. Them don't even know the constitution, and yet they are messing with it. They have their lackeys, they have their yes men. Dr. Marlene passed the, the Constitutional Reform Committee. Our church, where she threw tithes to, as the as the, 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 the representative of the church is Marlene, personal pastor. And these are the people that we have messing with our constitution. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, thank you. So I want to come on and share up a live. That goes for you to YouTube. Yeah, I've never heard any nonsense like this.
But as I say, this goes to show you Wargo and Joseph. Eight cases and you have illicit eight. Eight is JP lucky number and friendly. Mm -hmm. Eight is them lucky number. The number eight. The number eight hate them. <laughs> number eight hate them. Now my viewers and my subscribers. I am going to play a video. Of which Dayton Campbell are going to name out a bag of corruption. Where the Jamaican Labour Party are going with. Including Kanchaks. Contracts that was given out to members of the Jamaican Labour Party. And you're going to frighten when you hear some of these things, which you hear some of them already. The funeral home and all of them something there. You hear them there already, people. So I'm going to play this video and you guys can listen up. Make sure you now listen good to this audio so you can have a better understanding of what I am talking about. Remember to leave a like on this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet, alright? The People's National Party stands resolutely with our civil servants and the healthcare workers who are increasingly burdened by the under-resourced and understaffed public healthcare sector. Our concern is not directed at the dedicated civil servants who are often overworked and underpaid, leaving very little room for motivation. Instead, we call upon the government, the minister, and the specific accounting officers in the Ministry of Health and Wellness to address the issue of deep-seated unaccountability and the poor stewardship of the portfolio, which continue to cost Jamaican lives. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has failed to account for Jamaican $700 billion. This includes over $7 million worth of computer equipment that has gone missing, nearly $18 million spent without proper procurement documentation and the absence of the permanent secretary's approval for relevant contracts. Additionally, more than Jamaican $35 million was spent on consulting services over nine months without a competitive process or advertisement. The Auditor General identified numerous irregularities in the Ministry's expenditure of funds allocated for the COVID-19 pandemic and noted violations of the Financial Administration and Audit Act. Suspicion has also arisen over contracts awarded to the associates of Dr. Tufton. In 2020, controversy surrounded the awarding of untendered contracts to Market Me, a company allegedly linked to Dr. Tufton, for the Jamaica Moves campaign. Furthermore, contracts for storing deceased patients at the Kingston Public Hospital, KPH, have been given to Archer's funeral home run by Michael Archer, a JLP counselor in Dr. Tufton's constituency. Does this situation not demand accountability from the top echelons of the ministry? We are not criticizing civil servants broadly. Our concern is with the minister and a particular civil servant who has overseen this significant mismanagement. Accountability is non-negotiable and someone must be held responsible. If not the Visit our website at kpp.org.jm or check Jamaican us out on Facebook at Jamaica for PNP. For this gross negligence. Furthermore, we must address the issue of political appointments within the Ministry of Health and related boards. Appointing individuals with limited knowledge of the areas they oversee contributes to the ongoing mismanagement. For example, Michael Bell Navis, who resigned in disgrace as Mayor of St. Anne's Bay, due to misuse of resources, has been the chairman of the St. Anne's Bay Hospital Board since 2016. Additionally, Jennifer Bailey, the counselor for the Lyman Division, and Crystal Lee, former member of the North East Regional Health Authority Board, are examples of politically motivated appointments. Shouldn't the Southern Regional Health Authority Board, led by political appointee Winton, be held to account for the tenfold increase in maternal mortality rates? The PMP calls on the government to prioritize competence over political allegiance in appointing individuals to critical health sector roles. The ongoing maladministration within the Ministry of Health and Wellness, exacerbated by these appointments, demand immediate attention and corrective action. The PNP remains steadfast in advocating for enhanced resources, staffing, and training opportunities for healthcare workers. It is time for substantive change and proper management of our healthcare system, free from political interference and mismanagement. 
those responsible for the pillaring and poor stewardship of the hen sector must resign. There is one thing we don't really hear people talk about so much. And it come like taxpayers don't know, say, I feed them money and spend, so they free to talk about the things that, that are happening in this country. Men don't hear people talk about the 1.7 trillion that the government can not get account for. Men don't hear people talk about it, you know. The 7 billion dollar we're missing from the healthcare sector. Many of you people are talk about those things. But people are quick to bring down these teachers that are doing a lot for this country. Now, I have a other, another audio to play for you guys. So, take a listen, take a look, and leave your honest opinion down below in the comment section. The opposition is calling out the Prime Minister's selective outrage as he continues to ignore fake news spread by his own party members, particularly Deputy Speaker Heroy Clark's violation against the leader of the opposition. This blatant double standard exposes the government's inability to enforce policies impartially. We are forcefully condemning Prime Minister Andrew Holness' intent to clamp down on what he calls fake news on social media. We view it as a direct threat to free expression and privacy. We note that while the Prime Minister was addressing misinformation recently, his approach came off dangerously as an overreach. It's an undermining of the democratic principles and the constitutional rights of Jamaicans. Recent alarming statements by other Members of his cabinet, such as former Minister Robert Morgan's claim of accessing IP addresses and Minister Darrell Vaz's threats, clearly indicate an assault on democracy and privacy at the cabinet level. The opposition is calling out the Prime Minister's selective outrage as he continues to ignore fake news spread by his own party members, particularly Deputy Speaker Heroy Clark's violation against the leader of the opposition. This blatant double standard exposes the government's inability to enforce policies impartially. We're demanding that the government clarify its policy and the legal framework that supports it because we have to ensure that transparency and accountability are secured on behalf of the Jamaican people, all individuals, including government officials, must be held to the same standard to prevent abuse of power under this new measure that the Prime Minister seems to be thinking about. We staunchly defend the democratic values and constitutional rights of Jamaicans. We demand that the government reconsider this approach and uphold our nation's fundamental freedoms. So I could go over there to the Bradshaw, Leo the Bradshaw case with the Philip Powell Dart and so forth people. Now, Bradshaw co accused to return to court on September 16. Murder accused Leo the Bradshaw and her three co accused will return to the Supreme Court on September 16 for another case management hearing. The proceeding failed to get underway after about four attorney, Courtney Rowe, informed the court that. He would no longer represent him. Balfour told the court that he is unable to afford a lawyer. Now, how uh, enough only go, go kill people? But at the end of the day, when a time for to get a lawyer, you cannot get a lawyer. What sense it make? Now, look into this now. You take the life of a little baby and her mother, allegedly, and now you say you is unable to get a lawyer, just plead guilty and go on a prison and done, brother. Stop wasting court time. Stop wasting the court time, bro. Plea guilty, go on a prison and done. Because it's a national disgrace. Any, Any man will take the life of a baby and a woman, an innocent woman, an innocent baby, should not even be tried in the court. You know that. You know that. So, I don't know what you're about attorney. 
In the first place, no attorney at all should not represent you because you is nothing but a monster. All I know, a monster that take the life of that innocent baby and her mother. Uno are all monsters. I don't know, I know, I know which part you belong. If I know in the chair, or rope around neck, you should stay behind bars for life, brother. What kind of attorney you talk about? Justice for Saraya Palwell and justice for Tashana Pattison. That we want. Justice for Saraya Palwell and justice for Tashana Pattison. Now people stay to thought and that down below in the comment section. And as usual people, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. And turn on the post notification bell for new content. Alright?